Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to be doing a demo of this QD Alarms box. I don't know, I don't think it's a Type-C because although it does have the characteristics of a Type-C it's not It's not the right um, shape entirely. But yes, this was the mystery bell box that I wanted to reveal to you all. I think I put it in one of my other videos. It might have been it might have been the video of me before I refurbed the Logic 4. I think, well, anyway, in one of my videos I said I've got a bell box, but I'm not unveiling it yet, or whatever. And, um, yeah, this is it. So, QD Alarms. It should be 0151. It says 051 because that would be the old phone number. 0516387155. So, you probably won't get anything if that's called now. That probably no longer works, that number. Um, but yeah, so it, well, um, I had my eye on it because this house had a skip in the drive and it, its house was being refurbed and the box has comfort LEDs, it has one red one in the middle of the queue there and it has a row of blue ones here and the thing was, um, they, they always used to be on so I knew the box had power um, so I thought nothing of it, but then one day, for about a week, the lights went off and there were no comfort LEDs flashing. It was just, there were no lights on the box. So I thought, oh, why, what's going on here? So I thought they might be having a new alarm, but the box was still up. So I didn't think too much of it. And one day, we were all driving past in the car, and I saw the bell box had gone, and there was a new bell box on the wall. Um... Yeah, and you could still see what I like to call, and many other people call a ghost bell box, which is the paintwork that's been removed when the bell box has come off the wall. Anyway, yeah, so um, I, th I went in, and well, I looked in the skip, and um, there was nothing in the skip. I thought, oh, it's probably gone by now. And um, but to my amazement, it was in the new alarms box. It was like the cardboard box had just been for the new alarm had just been put by the front door and the old alarm had been put in it. So of course there was this, um, a mini tweeter siren and um, a Logic 4 panel. So I'm going to be doing a demo of it. I have got the comfort LEDs wired up and working. Oh also by the way it's got a strobe inside of it. Now I don't really like the ideas of strobes inside bell boxes because if it's really bright and the alarm's ringing you can't see the strobe flashing inside and also when it's night it kind of hurts my eyes I prefer to have a, um, a strobe on the top or on the front or on the bottom but anyway that's the way it is and I'm not changing it so I'll turn the lights off now so you can see the strobe flashing a bit better that's the wrong one I wonder what I've just... oh I'll turn the free view box off right okay Wrong one again. Oh, hang on. That's the one. Right, okay. Got a bit confused there. Anyway. Yeah, it might actually have put the blinds down. Yeah, that'll probably be enough. Right, okay. So, I'll get the comfort LEDs going for you anyway, first of all. They are rather bright, which is nice as well. Well, they're really bright, but that one's quite dull. And here it is, the box clicks in when you put power to it, because it has got an SCB or SAB in, I'm not too sure, it's got a circuit board. When you apply power, it clicks. Anyway, so there we are. We've got the middle of the queue illuminate. Ooh. Must be a bit of a loose connection here. Got the middle of the yeah, that being off. 
got the middle of the queue illuminated with that little LED and we've got them underlining the word alarms. So that's how it would look obviously when it was night. And I'll do a very quick demo for you. Now um, I've been de demoing lots of bell boxes lately so the neighbours probably hate me now because the amount of bell boxes I've set off is unreal. Um, yeah, no, it does look the business, I think, though. It does look good. Um, yeah, before I do, actually, I'll show you the inside of it. So, um, there's your blue Zenon strobe. Now, I've seen a video of the LED ones on YouTube, and I don't think I'll be getting one of them, because the LED ones look pathetic. They're nothing compared to the good old-fashioned Zenon one. Um, and there's your circuit board. And unfortunately, the backup battery's been cut off it, so when, the, when power was unapplied, when they cut the power to the system, it must have gone off, because the backup battery was there. That would have been on there like that though. Um, and there's just on the circuit board another LED indicating the box has power. So this has a total of seven LEDs. Um, and yeah, we have there a siren. I think this is a kinetic one because I recognise the, the design. Yeah, this is a kinetic siren, obviously as well. Adjustable positions. I'll put the light on for two ticks so you can get a good look at the bell boxes inside. That's a bit better, isn't it? It's just you can't see the comfort LEDs as good. Well, you can see the bottom ones anyway. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, adjustable. So, also, it's got the white back plate. Oh, tamper switch there as well. Um, this has got the rarer white back plates, which I've always wanted. I've always wanted a white back plate because um, quite a few of them were black, and um, I just I don't mind the black ones, but I've just I've got about oof, probably about mm, four black ones, and I had no white ones, so I'm glad I finally got a white one, and undamaged as well. This one, thank God, has been removed properly, and. Um, they took all the screws out so the back plate isn't damaged. Um, so yeah. And I've, like I said there's your strobe. Which I would have preferred to have on top. So I'll just put the cover back on. And I'll kill the lights again. Right there, that's actually shining on camera, that LED. Right then, I'll do a demonstration, of course. Yeah, that was it basically. Oh, last thing to add instead of four vents or three, like the other Type C's, this has six. Two smaller ones, one at the top and one at the bottom, and of course, same for the other side. And a little sign there that says polycarbonate which is obviously the plastic the bell box has been made out of, or at least the cover. So, move that in a bit closer. I'll do a demo now. So, the alarm box will sound on three, two, one, go. should be enough for now. Um, so yeah, that's how it would sound when it was going off. Probably, as this box hasn't weathered too much, I'd probably put this at the 1990s and not the 1980s, because it'd look a bit more bashed if it was from the 1980s. Um, but yeah, do you know, they, re they are really, really bright, those bottom comfort lights. They're putting a lovely pattern onto the workroom roof. 
Um, so yeah, there's my demonstration for you all. And that's it really. So thank you for watching and goodbye.